Hello, welcome to another episode of the British Cultural Tour. Today we talk about the British tea culture. So, put your kettle on, sit back, and enjoy a cuppa with us. Tea is the favorite beverage of the British, and it is a big part of their life. English has the expression "my cup of tea," meaning something to like. The Brits drink tea all day long. Oh yes, all day. From the humble tea break to the dress up to enjoy afternoon tea. A typical break has tea and biscuit, has a large tea cup or a mug, and tea bags. In this case, the tea bags are usually round. Milk and sugar are added. I just can't imagine what Britain would be like without tea. According to ITC, the International Trade Centre, the British drink approximately 100 million cups a day. Since the 18th century, the UK has been one of the world's biggest tea drinkers. According to the Food Bank, the British consumes 1.9 kilos of tea leaves per person per year. Tea was first brought to Britain in the early 17th century by the East India Company. It was an expensive product. And it was only for the rich and the royals. Tea was like gold and diamonds. Tea leaves were kept and locked in the tea caddy. Catherine of Braganza, wife of Charles II, was a Portuguese princess. Tea. Was part of her dowry when she married Charles in 1662. She introduced the ritual of drinking tea to the English royal court, and later, drinking tea was adopted by the aristocracy. It was some time around 1840, Anna Russell, the seventh Duchess of Bedford. Started to invite a few of her friends to her private room for tea in the afternoon. That was the beginning of English afternoon tea. It quickly became popular in the upper class. They dressed up for this social event. This is the drawing room where Anna entertained her guests for afternoon tea. Anna was the lady in waiting of Queen Victoria. The afternoon tea was also loved by the Queen. A traditional English afternoon tea is served with scones, finger sandwiches, and cakes. It is presented in a three-tier cake stand.
The star of the afternoon tea is the scone, served with strawberry jam and clotted cream. To enjoy a cup of English tea, you have to use loose tea leaves with a tea strainer. This is the time for a real tea cup instead of a mug. The best tea cups are Bung China, which is lighter, so you can pinch the handle with three fingers. Afternoon tea is so popular, and it is a very British experience for visitors. As for the price, it ranges from five pound ninety nine to ninety five pounds. It is available in cafes and restaurants. There are dress codes for nice tea houses and luxurious hotels. Now, let's have a look at the pictures of some tea houses. The Betty's Yorkshire, Harrow's, Milestone Hotel, Dorchester Hotel. The most famous afternoon tea is the tea at the Ritz, Palm Court, in the London Ritz Hotel. Is one of the most beautiful restaurants in the world. The Queen loves tea. She hosts four regular garden parties each year: three in the Buckingham Palace and one in Scotland. About ten thousand people from all walks of life are invited in each party. And the British love to have street tea parties to celebrate. It started in 1919 as peace teas after World War One. The British are drinking more coffee, but still, Britain is not a coffee-drinking nation. Tea is still the nation's favorite. Thank you for watching. I hope this is your cup of tea. Bye for now.